All right, so I was playing around with the Flowbench today. I have a particular injector on it. I was uh, running the injector up at a constant um, pulse width, which in this case was five milliseconds. And then I just started turning the battery voltage up and down and watching what the flow curve did. So, you know, you, you hear lots of um, uh, discussions about how you need to know the offset of your injector or the battery comp of your injector. But I decided to put this video together to just really try to explain uh, why that's that's required and show what happens when you vary the, batter, the battery voltage uh, to the injector. So what I did was this injector flowed about 1500 cc's a minute at um, five milliseconds. So I scaled the flow based on what it did at the highest voltage I achieved on my flow bench, which is 22 volts. So at 1500 cc's a minute, I made the percentage of flow equal to 100. And then everything below that is a percentage of the total flow um, of 1500 uh, while maintaining a constant five millisecond pulse and a constant fuel pressure and only varying the battery voltage. Now you'll see some jumps in the flow curve here where there's some steps in it. This is me turning the knob on the battery voltage uh, control. The, 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 the flow bench is hooked to a power supply that is variable with a knob. Normally I set a specific pressure and then check the injector there. But since I'm trying to vary it and get a data log of it moving, what you're seeing is me turning the knob and then stopping for a second and then turning the knob and stopping for a second, turning the knob and stopping for a second. Anyway, so, you know, like I said, I scaled the flow up here at 22 volts, which is the last voltage level that I checked um, at 100 percent. So you could see, like, if we go to, say, 16 volts, we get about about a 10 or 11 percent flow loss at 16 volts versus what we had all the way up at 22 if we go down to 14 volts, we're now flowing 83.89% of what we could flow at 22 volts. Again, this is the same fuel pressure, the same pulse width. This is just varying the battery voltage to the injector. And then you can see, obviously, I started down at the bottom at 12 volts, and the flow is down almost 25% from what it would be at 22 volts. Now, 22 volts might be an unrealistic voltage to, to test at. I only did it because my power supply on the flow bench will go that high uh, and I wanted to sort of draw this curve in but you, you can kind of get an understanding now if, if you have a system that does not adjust the pulse width to try to maintain a constant flow as the battery voltage changes you can expect quite a difference in flow rate from the injector again due to the battery voltage change so you know if you're using uh, 16 volts and you have the engine tuned at some uh, operating point at some pulse width and it's fueling the engine correctly uh, and then you experience a battery voltage drop because you didn't charge the battery if you're using a total loss system or maybe the belt comes off uh, and now your battery voltage is down at 14 uh, you're going to get quite a difference in in fuel volume uh, change without adjusting pulse width to fix it so this is another way to illustrate the importance of having a battery comp, not only a battery comp, one that's correct for the injector you're actually trying to run, which is why it's important to use either an injector where they supply that information or have your injectors tested by someone who can give you this data. Anyway, so this is just a, uh, a graph again of battery voltage across the bottom and scaled flow percentage vertically um, and, and so this is, again, illustrating the difference between constant pressure, constant pulse width, different battery voltages. Perfect time for the compressor to come on. I'll sign off.